everybody and we're back with another day for night shoot um or wait night for day oh, i don't know what this is called anymore but i wanted to take this opportunity to celebrate a hundred years sort of of publishing for dell books that isn't really dell books anymore they're a part of penguin random house now and um it's actually quite the series of acquisitions um, from the late 70s up through modern day. It seems like every, like, four to eight years, um, they were getting bought by somebody. But anyway, so, 100 years ago, back in 1920 and 1, Dell Publishing started with... $10,000 to publish a magazine called I Confess. And um, from there, they went into more pulps, more pulps, more pulps. And then they moved into um, comic books, Dell Comics. Uh, and then um, it wasn't until 19... 43 the Dell paperbacks changed the world um, Dell paperbacks were so freaking cool and the thing that's weird there is this period from 1943 to 1951 where they did everything right um well, not exactly everything, because um, they didn't really push the paperback original like Fawcett did in um, 49. But um, what they did do right was they... Because back then, the companies that were producing paperback books were um, Pocket, Dell, I think Popular Library was printing stuff at that point. Um, and I'm not sure about Avon. Avon might have been. But there wasn't, like, a standard yet. This was, like, the Wild West, okay? So all these companies were putting their own flourishes on the books and what size the book should be and what they should do. But if you remember from my Fawcett video that I did like forever ago, like when I first started this channel, I'm actually going to do a playlist so all these videos will be together. But if you remember that, before 1949, no one ever, ever thought to put out an original book as a paperback. They were always reprints of books that had already been published as hardcovers. So... It, it just boggles my mind that there was, like, a good 10-year period before Fawcett where paperback books were, like, commonplace, but no one ever thought to do that because you just don't do that. Um, so that's crazy. But um, what Dell did that was different than everybody else was what they're most known for is the map backs and map backs are beautiful they're amazing and dell is probably the only book in the world like the only publisher in the world to be known for their back covers instead of their front covers um they did some other things right too but let's just focus on the map backs right now so dell paperbacks number five through 550 were the map backs and there are some in there that they don't have maps on like some crosswords some war books um some joke books some comic strip books um and those usually had like war bond ads and stuff like that but anyway um the map backs were mainly used for the mystery books and they would have like pictures of 
where the crime took place and like little like oh this is where they found the drop of blood this is where they found the bloody shoe this is where they found a cup of tea that had arsenic in it or just whatever and it would just be like a floor plan um there were apartments there were roads there were castles there were um like uh foreign lands um but anyway so they would have all this stuff on the back and that was like the big plus the other thing they had was a really cool logo which was an eye looking through a keyhole um which gave the book especially with their mysteries this sense of um mystery and suspense but also that you're going to be kind of let in on something that you shouldn't be knowing about um which is always like a good like carnal instinct to make your readers want to have or whatever then on the inside of the book they had like a list of characters and again this is mainly for their mysteries which that was mainly what they put out they did this with romance novels too but um the fun was with the mysteries and it would have like a list of characters, but it would also have like a paragraph or like a blurb about him. Like this dude is, um, short and fat, but he loves food almost as much as he loves women. But now he thinks ghosts are real. Dun, 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 or something stupid like that. And it would just go down the list of something like that. Um, and then they would have like, um, wouldn't you like to know what made my wife so angry that she threw a cast iron skillet at my head? Wouldn't you like to know why we sunk into the earth never to be heard from again? Like just little things like that. Um, Dell was kind of also the first company and editorial stance on naming books chapters. So like, Say, like, if you wrote a book and sent it to Dell, and the first chapter was called um, Boredom, an Introduction, um, they would rename the chapter, like, What Happens When You Stick Your Finger in a Light Socket. So at the end of the day, these books are beautiful. The artwork is amazing. They're so inventive. And for some stupid reason, and I'm sure this guy got a raise and a corner office for coming up with the idea of, you know what? I think the map backs are old hat. I think we should do blurbs on the back cover. Oh, give this guy a raise and a new parking spot. It's like, if it ain't broken, don't fix it. And... I can't believe that all of their sales techniques never came back. Like, um, like I'm sure it costs a couple bucks to pay someone to make the maps and to come up with all the fun stuff, but, you know, like, why not do that? I don't, I don't get it. So anyway, um, if you have some of these, um, let me know down below, especially if you have an Instagram page. If you have an Instagram page and you have some of these, um, let me know or follow me on Instagram. I'm either, um, uh, I can't remember if I'm paperback junkie. I hate Matt wall or just Matt wall, but, um, I think there's a link somewhere like on my YouTube page, um, for my Instagram, but definitely let me know so, um, I could check out these buttes. Um, all right. So until next time, I'll see you later.